How you doing, Scorpio? <clears throat> Welcome to your readings at the round table. I'm Jennifer. This is Jasmine. Mouse is, I don't even know what he's doing. It's a warm day. It's a warm day. So, you know, maybe he's laying by the air conditioner. So confusing outside. I don't ever know whether I'm going to be turning the heat on or the air on. I don't, it's crazy. It's crazy. All right, Scorpio. This is a reading for the week of March 6th. This is a general reading, so if it resonates with you, that's great. And if it doesn't, that's okay, too. Make sure you check out your sun, moon, and rising. And because you will resonate sometimes with your moon sign or your rising sign more than you do your sun sign. Depending on placements and just, you know, whatever. <laughs> or maybe it could just be me. <gasps> All right, Scorpio. I got a lot to tell you. I got a lot to tell you. March is a crazy month. It's crazy busy. Lots of stuff going on. Oh my gosh. This is a game changer month. Oh, seriously, a game changer month. So we're going to start. We're going to do this one week at a time. So stay tuned because there's a lot going on in March. If you want to get an overview, make sure you watch your monthly numerology because at the beginning of all the numerology videos, I did a whole spiel on what's happening in March. It's insane. It's really great. I mean, it's really great, but it's just a lot. So this week in particular, on March 7th, we have a full moon in Virgo, and we have um, Saturn leaving Aquarius and moving into Pisces. Ooh. I think this is going to be great for the fixed signs. Mm -hmm. It's going to kind of take the fixed signs off the heat for a while it's going to take them out of the hot seat and move them into something that's just a little bit more manageable because last year was a very pivotal year for fixed signs if you had a lot of fixed signs in your chart which is taurus leo scorpio or aquarius if you had a lot of fixed signs in your chart there's a lot going down you know this year is going to be mutable signs. So if your sun, moon, or rising is Scorpio, but you have a lot of mutable signs in your chart, uh, I don't know what to tell you. But I am a mutable sign because mutable signs are Gemini, Virgo, uh, Sagittarius, and Pisces. And with Aquarius moving into Pisces, this is definitely going to affect the mutable signs. So lucky. <laughs> I know, but this is a really, this is a great time. Um, Saturn, you know, really does shake things up. Pluto is another big game changer. We'll get to that later in the month, but Saturn is a game changer here. Um, it makes us think about things that we need to address, things that we need to deal with, things that we need to correct, whatever, you know, that's, it's the disciplinarian. So it does make us think about things that we need to uh, work on. So, with Saturn moving into Pisces, Pisces is exactly opposite Virgo, which is how we have the full moon because the sun and the moon are in opposition. So, we have a full moon. The sun, Mercury, Saturn, and Neptune are all in Pisces when this full moon happens on March 7th. So, as you can imagine... That full moon is going to be opposing everything in Pisces. It may not be in direct degree opposition, but the, the feeling is there. Yeah. So, let's see what we have going on this week. I have a feeling this is still going to be great. I like to be positive. Come on. Um, so I'm going to pull a card from the Fairy Forest deck. I love, love, love this deck. It's so awesome. And it's just a little bit dark. So this is going to be fantastic. And, um, let's see what we got for you. I know. Love this deck. It's so freaking awesome. And then I'm, of course, I'm going to read with the tarot. Woo, woo, woo. What is that? That's pretty. Um, the Fairy Godmother. Revelation, Discovery, and Epiphany. It's a 32, so that's a 5 in numerology. But the Fairy Godmother, I could totally see that about you, Scorpio. Uh-huh. This is awesome. Okay. Revelation, Discovery, and Epiphany. That's what we're working with. 
going to put the selenite um, dagger back on top of that. <laughs> Whew. Boy, I'm telling you, Scorpio, it's a lot of changes, a lot of changes. March is going to be, it's a month full of changes, but I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I mean, you know, let's just see what shakes out, see what kind of new things we can bring in, right? I mean, for one, I'm moving my office. Actually, everything is packed up in here except, like, what you see. Um... <clears throat> so my husband and I are moving my office this weekend into my next phase, the next temporary spot, which is probably going to be like eight to 12 months um, until we can finish the rest of the renovations on the next area that will be my permanent, hopefully permanent office. Ooh. I just think this is cool and I'm just gonna say this you've got one major arcana card but you've got acorn shells feathers and crystals you've got one of each that has not happened to me yet in in these readings so just saying all right so we start off with the five of acorns which is challenge and growth we move into the chariot which is discipline and determination um, then we move to the six of shells, which is sentiment and joy. Uh, then we move on to the five of feathers, which is strategy and resist resilience. Sorry. And then we go to the eight of crystals, which is dedication and progress. Now, I just want to say anytime you're moving forward, anytime you're in a growth period, anytime you're doing all of that, you have to have discipline you have to have discipline determination dedication and you have to have some kind of strategy I'm telling you that because there's a lot of freaking talented people out there and but if you don't have the discipline if you don't have the determination to continue on with your project to finish it to go forward to to push through the tough times you're not gonna get anywhere you're not gonna get anywhere so what I keep seeing here for you is that maybe the epiphany, maybe the revelation or the discovery is coming into you through these tough times because the five of acorns challenge and growth in the traditional tarot. This is the five of wands, which some people could say that this is hassles, but I also think that it's negative talk. You know, I think it's that negative stuff that we bring in or we allow things to come in. And it's also about taking a risk because that's where the negative talk tries to say, you can't do that. You can't do that. Nobody else has been able to. You, you don't know. You don't know. Jump in. This is challenge and growth. And you step up to the challenge with discipline and determination. The obstacles are going to fall away. The obstacles are going to be removed. You're going to be able to go through this and you're going to be able to say, that's what I want. There's where I'm going. That's my manifestation. So you move through these challenges and growth with discipline and determination. It is going to bring some good stuff into your life. It's going to show you with the six of shells, the sentiment and joy is going to show you not only like you still see your manifestations ahead of you. You still see where you want to go, but it's going to show you what you were and you can go, I've grown this much. It's going to show you where you were and where you're now, where you are now and where you're going that you're not done. You know, you may not be, you may not be what you want to be yet. You may not be where you want to be yet, but at least you're not where you used to be. The five of feathers strategy is everything it is I said this in somebody else's reading today I'm I'm not sure whose it was um, but I said this in somebody else's reading today you need to have multiple game plans here you have like you come into something you come into a situation and there's a, a, a game changer which this is what Saturn is Saturn is a game changer 
So you come into something, you have a game plan and it changes and you're like, oh crap. You need to have game plan A, B, C, D, E, F and go into it. Jump into it. Have your strategies. Be resilient. You know that if plan A didn't work, hey, maybe plan F does. You know, be resilient. Keep going. And the eight of crystals is all about work. It's all about that progress. Dedication. Be dedicated to your path, Scorpio. Be dedicated to your path. There's going to be opportunities and options along the way that may change your path up, that may put you in a different place that you never realized you would be in. But be open to the options. Be open to it, to what's, gonna, what's coming out. It's progress is what it is. But be dedicated to your path. Oh, I love this. I really do. I mean, being dedicated to your path. Okay, now, I don't know what's going on with you, but this row, there's three wand cards and two major arcana. So, the first card here, let's start out with the Ace of Wands, <laughs> then the Emperor, hmm. the Justice card, the Five of Wands, which again is like this Five of Acorns right here. And the Three of Wands. So, I'm going to point out a couple of things here. With all this wand energy, I feel like we're talking about something that you're passionate about. We're talking about something that you have a passion for. I don't know whether this is a relationship, a business, uh, like a, a new venture, or something that you've been working on for a while. Whatever it is. Is something that you've been passionate about. It's something that you're working in. Um, I think that this is just super awesome because it is bringing in that new passionate energy. It's bringing in that new spark, that new lick of energy that's going to push you in the right direction. The emperor is like saying that you do need to be in charge. You need to be in command. You need to be in the authority in your own life. Don't let someone else's authority overrule yours. That's, this is not the way to go. Don't let someone else's authority overrule yours. And this could be a male energy. I'm not saying that this is a man. I am saying that this is a, like a male energy because we all have masculine and feminine energy inside of us. So I'm just saying that there may be a masculine energy trying to push you in a certain direction. But you need to be the authority in your life. You need to be in command of your life. At least your emotions. Because there's not a lot that we have a lot of control over here, Scorpio. We don't have control over a lot of circumstances. We do have control and we are in command of how we react. Our actions. So the Justice card, I so, I can't even tell you how much I love this deck. This is such an awesome and incredible picture because, first of all, I think you need to see yourself how Spirit sees you. You need to look at that in a little more balance and cut yourself some slack. 
give yourself a break. This is about karma. This is about keeping balance. This is about karma. Um, this is about, um, it really is about, look at this, perspective too. Because here, her eyes look closed. But in her reflection, her eyes are open. See yourself how spirit sees you. Open your eyes and look. But there is, there's karma coming in here. And what you deserve in your life. And what you deserve in your life is just around, like, the, the things that you have to persevere through. The things that you have to be dedicated and move through. The five of wands energy, again, is like the five of acorns. There's a lot of negative thoughts that's going on. A lot of negative, like, energy, like, that we keep in our own heads. We are our own worst enemies. Whatever this is that's going on in your head, you need to challenge yourself to grow past it. You need to work through this because these guys here are taking a risk. Look, they're building this up, taking a risk so that they can reach this flame. Now, as they are doing that, there may be some down here that have the negative negative thoughts the negative like things streaming through them they don't know how close this guy is though they don't know how close this guy is to the goal so the thing is here you've got to take a risk and you need to turn off or tell them to shut up or something the negative talk that's in your head the three of wands god dang again i love this card the three of wands energy is success either way as long as you are trying, as long as you are dedicated to your path, as long as you are moving ahead, you are going to have success. Because this is her looking out over this ocean and being like, I have, I have achieved that. I've done it. I've successfully mastered that. Or I'm about to. Either way, there's success there. That success energy is right there. Mm, mm. And that may be this epiphany, this revelation that you're receiving. That is such a pretty card. My gosh. The fairy godmother. You know, I'll know a lot of Scorpios. <laughs> I mean, I know y'all have heard me say, like, um, my favorite aunt is a Scorpio. And I... Mm, Intense. Oh. Lady Portia, Divine Order. All right, the next advice card from the animal deck. I am going to miss my window when we, when I move offices, I'm going to miss my window. Um, but in my permanent office, the one that we are just getting started on, uh, I don't think there is a window. Ooh, the raven.
Okay, it's like four. Cilantro. Okay, some of my husband's family was telling me I'm not saying that right. Cilantro. I, I, I'm Southern. I mispronounce everything. All right, first thing, Lady Portia, Divine Order. Do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. Oh, oh I like that. Okay, Raven, magic healing through the void. Raven is the symbol of creation, both trickster and wisdom. Bringing what is in the dark to the light. It can use its magic without fear. Raven is not intimidated by others because it can fly into the shadow. It is called in on rituals to bring healing ceremonial energy uh, to its intended destination. Hmm. Wonder what is coming up. There's definitely something that's like coming up in your life here Scorpio that's gonna be like revealed hmm okay cilantro um, emotional aspects of cilantro it releases worry shaky foundation and feeling controlling it instills unattachment releasing control and freedom Ooh. It creates a release from all aspects of wanting to control life and the outcomes. It helps to release heavy burdens and live a life of freedom. The centering thought, I create freedom to honor myself and all that I am. I release the need to control. And the affirmation, why is it so easy to create a strong, solid foundation? And the chakra is the root and the heart. Wow. 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 This is just, this is just awesome. This is awesome, Scorpio. I think you really are headed in a fantastic direction. Seeing yourself, how spirit sees you or seeing yourself, how you see others, because you see the good in everybody. So seeing yourself that way, this is going to be a game changer. There are some things that are coming out that are illuminating. Um, and I like it. I like it. Bring it on, right? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for you. Stay dedicated to your path. Stay dedicated to your path. You never know what's going to come up, but stay dedicated to your path. You'll find success. Thank you so much for joining me today, Scorpio. I so appreciate your, uh, your support on my channel. I just so appreciate you. Don't forget to check out your monthly numerology. A lot of important information on this March uh, numerology. Ah, uh, yes, I know. I probably say that every month. But um, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week, Scorpio. Enjoy this full moon energy. And until we see each other again, get out there and make your magic. Bye. Thank you.